Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to build the contact form with um, the field inputs having a floating label. So let me show you what I mean. So this is what we're going to be building. And if I uh, click on one input field, as you can see the label floats up and changes color like this. As you can see, let's say John Doe email. If I click send, these are required. So. So this is what we're going to be building. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click the bell notification icon so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. With that being said, let's get started. By the way, I'm going to include links in the description to this image right here from the form and also this um, background image. So make sure to grab those and code along with me. Let's get started. I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it with my text editor which in my case it, uh, it is Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create an index.html file and a style.css and uh, a folder called images. And I'm gonna go here, grab these and uh, place it in my folder called images. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the index.html file, uh, create a basic markup, change the tile to contact, and uh, for the markup, it's not going to be very difficult, it's going to be quite easy. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put a, a section with, a, with an ID of contact, inside here a div with a class of container, inside the container another div with a class of contact. Uh, and inside here, contact left, and below, is, I'm going to leave this empty, and below it, uh, I'm going to say contact right. And inside the contact right div, I'm going to put my form, we don't need an action, and I'm going to create a div with a class of form group. Inside here, I'm going to put an input text, make it required, and below the input, I'm going to put a label, I'm going to say for name, name. I'm going to copy this uh, form group three more times. One, two, three. I'm going to say input type email, label for email, and email. Uh, the next one, text, and for phone, phone. And um, the last one, I'm going to change this with, it is not an input, it is a text area. I need an index tag. And I'm going to say label for message. Message. And uh, an input with a type of submit. And value send message. And uh, an ID of um, a, a class of uh, contact contact-btn uh, and this should be it for the markup let's uh, open it in the browser so this is uh, what it is for now now I'm gonna go to fonts.google.com and click on Roboto and uh, choose the regular one for 100 import copy this link and now we're gonna start with our uh, styling so go to style.css paste this link and let's begin first of all we're gonna start with some default uh, styles so select everything with the asterisk asterisk select the before and after and say margin zero padding zero box sizing set it to border box now HTML font size 62.5 percent body font family Roboto sans serif let's check it out uh, we didn't include this in the index.html I'm gonna go above the title and say link style.css as you can see now the changes take effect and I'm gonna say dot container create the container class max width 1100 pixels margin 
zero auto padding zero on top and bottom three rem on the left and right okay good now let's uh, select the section with the idea of contact and say background background url images bg.jpg uh, uh, height 100 viewport heights uh, background size cover and background position center okay good now let's select uh, let me create some space let's select the contact and the div with a class of contact and say display we're gonna center it flex justify content center align items center and it's not center vertically because I need to add the height so height 100% and now sorry uh, not contact 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 container and now it is center okay now I'm gonna select contact and the div with a class of contact and give it a display of flex and a height of 480 pixels okay now I'm gonna say uh, contact contact left and give it a background URL images contact dash img dot jpeg I'm gonna give it a background size of cover and a width of 250 pixels there it is now as you can see these corners are not rounded so I'm gonna say border top uh, left right radius of uh, I'm gonna give it 10 pixels now copy this border bottom left uh, radius 10 pixels okay now let's uh, get to work on the right one so contact dot contact right background of white so FFF with 450 pixels border top right radius 10 pixels copy this and change it to bottom right and give it a padding of 3 rem and 4 rem 3 rem on top and bottom 4 rem on the left and right okay so far so good now I'm gonna say uh, contact dot form group uh, position relative and uh, margin bottom 3.5 ram okay now contact dot form group uh, input and contact dot form group text area we're gonna give it a font size of uh, 1.8 ram that would be 18 pixels uh, padding 1 ram top and bottom 0 0.5 ram on the left and right a width of 280 pixels background make it transparent a border none border bottom 2 pixels solid 333 three. color 333 three, three. uh, display block and the uh, font family Roboto sans serif okay so far so good hmm I'm gonna say uh, now uh, contact dot form group text area height 100 pixels okay <clears throat> Now I'm gonna remove this uh, outline right here. As you can see, it's quite ugly. So contact dot form group input column focus 
and contact dot form group not form not form sorry form not from <laughs> sorry about that form group uh, text area focus outline none as you can see now it's uh, it's gone now we're gonna work on the labels so um, contact dot form group label position absolute and say top zero left zero font size 1.8 rem color 333 uh, padding 1 rem on top and bottom 0 on left and right set pointer events to none and uh, transition 0 0.5 seconds okay good and now we're gonna create that uh, that uh, that uh, label hover effect so I'm gonna say uh, contact dot form group input column focus I'm gonna use a plus and say label uh, copy this and change input to column valid and we're gonna do the same for the text area so change input to text area text area column focus and text area column valid and for these I'm gonna say top sorry top minus 23 pixels left 0 font size decrease it a bit 1.6 rem that would be 16 pixels and color uh, 40B F2B. Let's see. As you can see now, that we create that nice uh, floating effect for the labels. Now all we have left to do is the is this button, the submit button. I'm gonna say contact input type equals submit and say display inline block background RGBA 64 191 43 and 0 0.8 color white border none font size 1.8 rem padding sorry about that padding 1 rem on top and bottom 3 rem on the left and right border radius uh, 10 pixels cursor pointer margin bottom 5 rem and transition background 0 0.5 seconds and now finally contact input type equals submit column hover background uh, 40B F2B and as you can see this is it now John Doe at G sorry J Doe at gmail.com 555 5555 and this is my message as you can see this is uh, that's it for this video if you liked it uh, make sure to <laughs> well like it uh, leave a comment if you have any questions make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for new videos see you soon have a good day thank you for watching and have a good day bye